Hello everybody and welcome to yet more perpetual testing. This time we're going to be having a go at Claustrophobia Christmas Madness. This is created by Stuntman Mike, so a very big thank you to Stuntman Mike for this one. Uh, now I came across this particular chamber whilst I was searching the Steam Workshop for Christmassy themed chambers. And whilst clearly not even remotely Christmassy themed in here, it did kind of look interesting just because of, well, how compact the Steam Workshop thumbnail actually made this one look. I mean, what is this? Is three by three by three floors? So that's what? 9, 18, 27, 27 Hazel Maker cube spaces. And some of which we cannot actually occupy at all. So, yeah, I just thought this would be worth having a go at. And, um, I mean, depending on whether or not future Nerima of Christmas Pasts. Does that make sense? Future Nerima of Christmas Pasts. Yeah, kind of does actually. Whether or not that guy made an actual Christmas special or not this year, you can kind of go ahead and think of this one as your somewhat Christmassy episode of Perpetual Testing. And actually, I think this comes out like the day after Christmas, so it doesn't really matter anyway. So yeah, Christmassy in title only. Um, I did want to have a go at it though, just because of how compact everything is. Uh, we've got Deadly Deadly Lasers above a faith plate, meaning immediate death option there. We've got a cube receptacle button here with an X upon it. Uh, cube delivery tube up there with a button connected straight to it. Fizzler, more deadly deadly lasers. Conveyance beam with a very, very short throw, which is going to really screw up that guy's desk in there. And then whatever is up on the top floor. And we'll get there when we get there. There appears to be a button up on the top floor, and that's dot above the Fizzler there. Okay, so uh, oh, there's also a light bridge in there. Yeah, I just wanted to have a go at a really, really compact looking chamber. Um, so where do we start then? I don't want to go on you, because that will kill me. Although that might be something we need to do at some point. Uh, that conveyance beam is also on a timer. We could get that light bridge by the looks of it. We can go into you. Uh, can we use you? We can't use you. We could use you, you or you. So let's go ahead and use this one. Gets us into... Wow, you can get right up in the face of the observers in this one could like practically plead with them to be let out um yeah okay oh look there's a good example this is like literally one cubic puzzle maker space cube block thing someone who does hammer editor maps could probably tell you exactly what the dimensions of this is supposed to be uh let's have a look over there actually because we can see ourselves how tall do we reckon a bendy is i mean like one hop gets you to there so like six maybe eight feet that, that's probably quite a uh, quite a presumptuous vertical leap, isn't it? Eight feet. Yeah, no, probably not. Six feet, do we reckon? I don't know. Bendies seem quite short. I mean, that doesn't line up with our gun at all, where our head is supposed to be. But we don't question these things in video games. But somebody who wants to go ahead and do the math can probably work out the exact square footage that we can occupy in this chamber. Just remember, there's a bunch of these blocks that we can't actually go into ourselves. So if you want to do the maths, go ahead and let me know in the comments. That's maths that I don't even bother thinking about. Um, we can get the light bridge, because there is a panel in there. If we go ahead and use you and place it under our feet, which lets us get into this one, uh, then we can actually go back out with that one again, because that will take us back out into the main space. Uh, then I think we can probably get up to that button avoiding the deadly lasers if we do the whole uh, light bridge hopping thing but this time without too much of a threat of deadly deadly goo underneath us. That should let us hop up high enough. That does actually take you clean above the deadly deadly lasers as well. And yeah, look again, you can get right up in the face of the observer and you could plead with them. You could be all like, please, sir, let me go back to the sleep pod. I'm ever so tired, so weary. And the guy in there would just be like, you get back to the test or you're not getting the 60 bucks. You know the rules. And you just go back to testing. Uh, there's a button here. This button will do you, which will drop ooh, a companion cube directly into my face. There's another one in there waiting. Uh, so we got a companion cube. Well, that would make sense to go and stick it on the one place to stick a cube. Uh, hold on a sec. You can see other stuff. There is a button in there underneath the deadly, deadly lasers past a fizzler. Uh, there's a button there as well and a piece of glass directly above my head here. Could we be a bit of a dick about it and stand upon you here to hop up one floor? Or is it? It's the... No, of course not. Um, oh, that could have been bad. Let's not do that again. Uh, let's take you down here. 
and stick you into the extra receptacle button, that, that turns off those deadly lasers. So, if we get you out the way, uh, you're glassed off, aren't you? Meaning we cannot even think about using you. Let's stick that there, then. So, with the deadly lasers out the way, we get flung up to the third floor, where we can find our exit already waiting for us. Uh, button up there that we looked at earlier. Uh, cube delivery tube up in the corner. And a very, very tight, deadly space there. Okay, so you. You get rid of the fizzler there. And you, through the mesh which I can press. You, you turn on the conveyance beam in a pulling variety. Which actually would line up perfectly with the cube where it was when we put it down, wouldn't it? Yeah, okay, so keep that in mind. Um, anything else? What's down there? There appears to be moving panels. And that's above where we got the light bridge, isn't it? I think I can see the light bridge. Yeah, you can just make out the light bridge down there. Okay. So there's a bit of a tunnel there that we've got to open, which I'm going to take a wild guess at being connected to that button there. So it makes sense then to get this cube back up to, well, conveyance beam kind of height. So we could actually do that with the same way we moved ourselves up here by budging it with the light bridge. Uh, that should go under you. And I can delicately lift you. No, I've completely missed that. What if we do it like super low? Super low? Because this does lift it, right? Yeah, okay, that's what we want. Now if we edge it up as high as we possibly can, uh, we could in theory go get it ourselves, but it seems more likely we're supposed to yank it with a conveyance beam and then get it into there. Uh, probably should have tested beforehand though. That's not going to let me put a portal on it, is it? Because as soon as I get off of here, no, that gets fizzled away. Cube has dropped back into there. Uh, so I think we want the light bridge again and it would make sense to yank the cube this way and then when it drops, portal there. Whilst we're stood on there, portal there, drop onto the cube. And then this is all... This is all glass, right? This is all glass. There's no way in there apart from that panel in there. So we'll have to go back to the light bridge to get up to go into there because that floor does look like a panel we can use. Uh, so, back down here then. Okay. Hmm. Will that let me do things? I can probably abuse that. Probably should try and not abuse it, but I reckon I could abuse that. Uh, let's go back into there via going through here to get into here to go back into there by going via here So we can cross into here and to go back out there Yeah, hopefully we don't have to do that too many times uh, I want to lob myself back up to this floor do the whole light bridge bump the cube up off the button thing again Lift it ever so delicately all the way up the wall here then I want to yank it off with the conveyance beam. Yank it off with the conveyance beam. Ha! <laughs> that's, that's a fetish for someone out there. Um, yeah, uh, that's not going to work though, because there's no way I can... I mean, there's glass there for a start, but there's also not like an angle where you probably could actually just about get a portal down there and be back on here in time. So how would you go about getting a portal on the floor down there? to drop this cube out of the conveyance beam into. Also, you could put a portal there and once again hassle the guy in the observation room. Um, yeah, that's the puzzle. We've discovered the puzzle, haven't we? How to get a portal there while still being up here. We'll have to be up here because you can't like leave this button once you've placed a portal there. Unless you get the cube up here first, but then there's no way to get the cube into there. No, it's got to be dropping it onto the floor right there, then. Um, how? Uh, I mean, you could kind of do that. There's a cheeky angle there you could probably abuse, even more so with the fact that you could land on the edge of those. Could I jump down onto the light bridge? But no, because again, we, we, we can't have a portal in that space there unless we're stood on the button. And it is on a timer, so how much timing does the timer give us? I mean, it yanks it across there. Could we then, like, do... There? Where did that go? It went nowhere useful at all. Um, unless we could rebound it there, because now we could totally just go there, right? Do the orange there. Rebound the cube, or actually, can I? Can I? Can I? 
Can I be a dick? Can I catch that? No, we're like the wrong pixels, aren't we? So it seems like this angle would be the way to do it. That seems wrong, right? Unless that is what's actually intended. Sometimes weird little angles are intended. Often, often they are not, though. Portal tends to work at 90 degrees. Um, that's kind of that, though. How do I get down now, though? Uh, there's no panel up here for me to use. Kind of, actually, because we can do this. And we know we can land on the edge here. And as long as I don't screw this up and embarrass myself, we can go through there. Yeah, okay. Um, I'm starting to think this might be a map we are actually supposed to abuse. Because that's genuinely a way to get safe from up there, right? By using that little tiny bit of a ledge there. Uh, we do want to set all this stuff back up, though. So you sit back in there. And once again, we go there so that we can go through here. So that we can put a portal there to go back via this way to get back out to there through here. If I'd placed the right portal in the right place, that is. Uh, so let's bounce up here. Like that. Let's do the cube edging thing again. Cube edging. There's another fetish for those of you counting. And then bug this up. Yep. Keep you going. 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 Nope. You went back down. Let's do that again then. Bug you up. Bug you up even more gently than last time so that you come all the way up here. Yeah. Okay. That seems like it's in a good place. Let's uh, yank you over. Let's find this little... No! Okay, well, the light bridge saved me. That, that could have been bad. Um, I still have to get back up there now, don't I? Crap. Okay, you go back in there. You sit there for the moment. You fling me up here. Uh, then we got to do the budging thing again. So like this. That, that's still there, right? That is still in the place. So we have to get right into this edge here, get a cheeky pixel there, hopefully quite a bit in the middle under wherever the cube is. Actually, I don't have to rush that part, do I? As long as the cube lands somewhere good. Uh, let's do you. Let's go back over here and do, do, do... There. Wrong portal in the wrong place. Um, could you... Could you go, like, out there? Oh, sweet, you did. Wait, that's stupid. That's going exactly where I don't want it to go. Fuck, um, I moved the wrong portal to pull that off, didn't I? Shit. Uh, okay, let's do you there. Let's do this. This, yep, thank you. You need the bloody light bridge again. So once again, for those of you counting at home, through here to go into there via here so we can go into here so that we can go back out there. Then let's grab... Uh, no, we don't. We bounce up here and we do you. And once again, we edge the cube near to completion and then tease it at the last second. Like that. Uh, then, wait, what portal would it make sense to move first? Um, neither of them, really. They all go into a really annoying place. Uh, well, I could turn them off. I could turn them off, couldn't I? Let's do... Let's do... Let's do... Uh, stand on here. Let's do that, that, then orange there, that, that will probably work. And then do blue there, so it drops the cube there. Does in fact open that up. Now everything's pretty much in a good place, so I want to go back down. And yeah, this seems why that is like a legitimate tactic in this map. Because we can land on there, because it's pretty much the only way to get back down now through here and not kill ourselves at the last second then once again we go there so that we can go there so that we can go via here so that we can go into there via here to get into here and to look up which is now completely open um well then we can just go straight across right we could put the orange there go through this way and then i guess uh well just go through there yeah we do blue there go down here through here and there. Oh, nope. Almost. Almost. A bit more teasing with the edging just there. Yeah, just another. Okay, no. You're getting blue balls now. Stop it. Right. Uh, through into there. And that is actually the end of that one. So, um, yeah, that was Claustrophobia Christmas Madness. And that was created by Stuntman Mike. So a very big thank you to Stuntman Mike for that one. 
And let me know in the comments the maths that you worked out. Also, let me know in the comments what you think of that, because that kind of employed cheeky portal puzzle solving techniques that are somewhat frowned upon. And I mean, it is kind of Christmas time and this is vaguely related. So do we consider that kosher in the world of portal puzzle solving? Or is that something we're all going to burn in hell for? Um, yeah, let me know, because uh, I just wanted to check out a very compact puzzle. And I mean, that is probably one of the most compact puzzle designs I've ever played. We can all agree that one was tighter than a nun in a walk-in freezer. Uh, if you'd like to recommend a map for me to try and play, then please go ahead and do so via the usual means. And until the next episode of Perpetual Testing, I hope you had a very, very pleasant yesterday. And if it wasn't, you know, Christmas for you, I hope it was pleasant anyway. Thank you very, very much for watching. Catch you later.